Tra l'allero, tra l'allà. Porco Dio e porco Allah. You probably heard this man sound all over the internet. But what have I told you? We are turning that wipe into a game ready 3D character. Stick around because I'll show you a quick and effective way to make it happen from start to finish. Hi there, my name is Alex and I'm 3D artist in game development with 7 years experience. I work it on games like Subway Surface, Heroes and Generals and many other. If you are looking to level up your 3D game art skills don't forget to subscribe and drop a like all right let's dive into the process since this tutorial is all about working smart not hard we are not going to model everything from scratch instead we will grab a ready-made base mesh per own sketch file honestly unless you work in this a completely unique new concept this is no point in wasting time Use existing assets to speed things up. It's industry standard approach. We'll also download a sneaker model to go along with the character. Again, no need to reinvent the wheel. In our case, we will be using high poly models as a trading point. Why? Because we'll need to retopologize then unwrap, make maps and texture them anyway. Our goal is to create a high quality, optimized model suitable for games. Okay, we exported our models and the next step we should to sculpt our shark, uh, pick a snake hook and uh, make a form like a reference. Oh, for shape correction, we also can use grab brush and uh, inflate brush. The same things we have to do with the second leg. For tail correction, we can use a pose varash. So, the next step we need to add our shoes. Uh, now I want to combine our parts of shores in one object. Then I want to put the sneakers back in place and make adjustment to the shark's silhouette. The next step is red topology, for that make a plane, merge it by one vertex and turn on a snap tool. As you can see, now we can to move our vertexes by surface. We have to, we have to create a new low poly mesh on top of the old model, there is nothing come complicated in this, however in our case this will be the longest stage of all, so I will not dwell on it in detail, but will simply speed up this part. By the way, I am open to collaboration and cooperation, if you have an idea for a new tutorial or want to make a joint video, then write about this in comments. Also, if you need a study model for game engines such as Unreal Engine, Unity, Roblox or WebGL, then you can co-op with me and my team. All links will be in description. When you have tubular elements in the process of work, such as limbs, tail and the like, it's not necessary to model each polygon. It is enough to separate this loop and extrude the cylinder. Add the shrink wrap. The polygons themselves will stick to our model. 
all that remains for us is to add loop cuts and correct the mesh. The full retopology time lapse can be viewed on my channel and we move on to the next stage. UV map. We need it so the model can have a texture. The basic rules are very simple. As for you seems as possible in the most hidden places. All the seams should be at all angle greater than 90 degrees. A detailed video on UV is also on my channel. I will not give comment on it, so I will speed up this part of the video. One of the most important stage is baking texture. If you have the right maps, consider that the texture is already 19% ready. We load our low poly and high poly version there, add a baking group and add the low poly and high poly model there respectively. In my case I made three baking groups for the body, for one pair of teeth and the second pair of teeth. I do this so that artifacts do not appear during baking. As you can see our baking is done without artifacts, so we can move to next step. Since our original model already had a texture on the high poly, we will rebake it into the Albeda channel. Now we go to the Substance Painter and load our model as well as all the textures that we bake it. To add a stylist look at our model, I will use a simple diffuse add-on. The link to it will be in the description. If desired, we can completely texture our model with it by simply changing color and drawing mask. But this video is about a quick method, so I use it only to add a soft shadow. And finally, we load our tralalayla tralala into marma set and make beautiful renders. We'll set up the light, camera, pose and focal lens. A render is very important. As my teacher used it to say, any bad work can be saved by a good render, but even the best work can be killed by a bad render. I will tell you more about the correct presentation of your work in uh, the next video. Subscribe so you don't miss it.